Making sure that we connect with our genealogy and our Papa Papa, there's such richness in that. Many of the answers or many of the challenges that we're facing at the moment are because of things that happened to our ancestors, our Tupuna, uh, in our history. And if we don't connect and understand that, then again, when we're trying to build a, a very important and big issue like suicide prevention, uh, we're going to find that our strategies and our actions and our behaviours fall short. Honua uh, Kinga Purako, so connecting to, and I heard someone mention this earlier, uh, our own kōrero, our own stories, and valuing them in the way that we value other people's stories. Again, there's real value and real intelligence that sits within that kōrero that we should be calling upon and utilising and valuing uh, when we develop an action strategy, Rautaki Nami Akato. Hono Kinga Atua Maori. I mean, met Atua Iruro. I mean, the thing is, for me, my dad was a Maori Anglican minister. And when I grew up, you know, I was led to believe that primarily, I mean, that's a good thing to do with uh, but uh, the interesting thing about that is my grandmother, uh, Ihonunga Ia, King Atua Mai. And so I was lucky because I got the best of both. Well, didn't know it at the time. Didn't know it at the time. But it's important that if we want to move this to well, any kind of phone forward, then we must connect to Nā Atua Mai. Me Nā Atua i Whakapono Ai Kautau. Aha ko te rā Atua, ko te rā Atua. I think most people uh, would connect to uh, people that are important to you on a daily basis. And I know that for some of us, those people aren't actually uh, of this earth anymore. And so making sure that we embrace uh, our ability to hononga ki te wairua or ki wairua is a very important part also of the strategic developments uh, or, or the developments of strategy that we have in this space. I found this to be quite a powerful statement and I uh, tried to uh, um, write this down for the I don't know if I got it right or not. But when we look through a parking lens, we see illness, uh, while a mighty lens uncovers potential and opportunity. I thought that is extremely powerful, it's just a different way. Listen, at the end of the day, there's value in looking through any lens because it tells a story and, use, and sometimes those stories are useful. But one of the things that we don't do uh, enough of, in my view, is to look through our own lens and see the uh, opportunity and the potential that sits in front of us, especially in our whānau, especially in our whānau. You know, many of you today have talked about valuing our own intelligence. And the fact is, whānau, is that if we don't value and utilise our own intelligence, nobody else is going to. So it starts with us. I think it's important that while we do have much maturanga to call on uh, as an iwi, as a people, as, as a whānau, uh, still behoven on, upon us to continue to develop, uh, to continue to grow our own intelligence. And part of developing our own intelligence is supporting our research communities, our researchers, and making sure that we support them to research in the right areas. But we need to do more of it. Um, so, whakamana uh, i te mātauranga Māori, but also whakamana te māramatanga Māori. So Māori intelligence and Māori wisdom to be able to apply that knowledge in a way that's meaningful and useful to our whānau, but also in a way that's uplifting. I 
Afamuti Nahua or Tatami Tama. So eliminating uh, the outcomes, the oppressive outcomes of colonization. So I think right through all the quarter there's been an acknowledgement that if we don't acknowledge the uh, negative impacts of colonization, and if we do not unveil uh, some of the stories and some of the occurrences that occurred as a result of colonization, and if we also do not acknowledge that what underpins colonization is uh, deliberate racism, basically when you think about it at its purest form, uh, then we'll never ever be able to address, not just for this kaupapa, but for any kaupapa, <coughs> Uh, some of the enablers or disenablers or neighbours in terms of uh, not being able to prevent uh, Māori suicide in this country. Okay. Uh, and as I said before, Tino Ronga Tino Tanga doesn't mean Pākehā leading Māori towards pai ora, oranga, wai ora, mauri ora, whatever ora you use to describe oranga for your whānau hapuiwi. Tino Ronga Tino doesn't mean a Pākehā leading Māori towards that. That's a very strong message. And let me tell you something, is that now that the government is starting to place importance on what it's calling uh, equity, Māori health equity, uh, which in my view really is the co-papification, co-papapākehafication uh, of Māori health. Now that the government is starting to place an importance on it, what you'll find is that uh, those who are leading in the system will start to get Pākehā to lead their kaupapa because they do not value the importance and or capability of Māori leaders. So that's something to watch out for as well if you haven't seen it already and also Manamotu Hake, which we, we all know what that means. Kei Tata o te Aratika, so the answers lie within us. And uh, you know, the thing is, whānau, is that we uh, have become, not, not, not everyone, but at times complacent. And we're waiting for someone to come and fix things for us or to do something that will enable us. But the fact of the matter is that we are the people we've been waiting for. And so if you're wanting to see a difference made, then you must make it, you must be that difference yourself. And uh, that's my translation of that Kea Tata and And obviously I've put Whakamana Whāna in this, the last point that I'd make is that uh, if we're implementing all of these things and doing all these amazing uh, strategies and actions and uh, implementing all these uh, uh, things that are going to make a huge amount of difference in our view uh, for our people that doesn't fuck up on whānau then somewhere along the line we probably got it wrong. But at the whānau, te nā bautou, te nā bautou, te nā tātou katoa. Yeah.